to the podcast. Today, we're doing a special drink because 4th of July is coming soon. And so this drink is literally called the 4th of July. So you're gonna need some Bacardi rum, some peach schnapps, and some blue curacao. You can either use club soda or Sprite. I'm using Sprite because I like the lemon lime flavor better. So what you're gonna do is, I like to just get like a little baseline and pour just a little bit in there. Then, let's start with one ounce. It's all equal parts except for the Sprite. One ounce blue curacao, coming in hot. Then, we have one ounce peach schnapps. Throw it in there. Then, one ounce of rum. Then, what you do is, you take the rest of your Sprite, take it to the brim, reach in here, grab you a cherry, freshly popped, throw it in there. Give it a nice stir. And that is the 4th of July. You have the red for the cherry, the white as the ice, and the blue as the beverage. Happy 4th of July. Test driving, test driving anal. One, two, one, two. Big fat ass cheeks. Boom, 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 boom. All right, we'll take it. And welcome back to the Beyond Buzz podcast. How's everyone feeling tonight? All right, then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, tonight we are going to be going over to my mom and Moa's house for Lasagna. And Jerry's going to be there oh, along wait. with Kim. <laughs> God damn it. It's, it's going to be good. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what his first drink he's going to have is because I'm taking four bottles of Fit Vine yeah. over there. There's two Red Blends and two Savion. Uh, oh, what is it called? It's a Cabernet Savion. Savion's Cabernet something. something Peanut like Noir. <laughs> Peanut Noir. <laughs> he is probably going to be crown. Well, first drink. Mm -hmm. uh, I I think he's probably just sitting there down in Mi uh, Miller Lite. Be honest oh, with you. Okay. Just pre gaming until you know mm -hmm. we walk in. Then he's going to be like fucking bitch, <laughs> bitch. Give him one of those. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> he's probably sitting there with a cigarette and some sort of. Yeah, he's probably sitting out back with a cold beer. De decompressing Just, from yeah. the four and a half, five hour drive yeah. with Kim. Fucking <laughs> PTSD. Yeah. Just. <laughs> yeah. I gotta pee. I gotta pee. I gotta do yeah. I'm hungry. Shut, Shut up. the fuck up. Yeah. Kim. I'm driving the fastest as the can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's but, gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, for sure. And uh, our grandma's lasagna is the titties. Yeah. Especially if you put ranch on it. Yeah. She, she is country as it gets, born and raised in Georgia, but she makes lasagna like an Italian, like, mm -hmm. like, like it's one of these. You start eating it, you're just like, mm, that's good. Yeah, I had Momo really text good. me the recipe that she does for all her lasagna, so I have it in my phone. Yeah. I'm holding on to gold here, people. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> and it still won't taste anything like it. Yeah, no, I, yeah, it'd be like that. Because what I would do is I'd sit there and be like, hmm, I'm going to use organic meat and I'm going to use this like version of pasta mm -hmm. and et cetera, et cetera. And then it's never going to taste the same because it'd be like, oh, it's it's missing the momal touch. Yeah. Speaking of that, speaking of momal cooking, I'm sorry, momal, I have to say this story. but uh -oh. <clears throat> So one day, have you heard the fingernail and the fried chicken story? What? Her uh, fingernail? Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, no. this is so good. I didn't even know Momo made fried chicken. I, I think I've only eaten gumbo and lasagna. <laughs> to be honest with you, I... Momo even... makes fried chicken all the time, like, and I will never yeah. eat it again because of this story. Oh, my so, God. So, <clears throat> uh, this was a couple of years ago before GP passed, and Momo was making fried chicken, and you know how she gets those acrylic nails. <laughs> Well, obviously, they're her press on this time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so she, like, does her, like, Momo is so old-fashioned. She doesn't do the whole hand hygiene thing or to, like, she'll touch raw chicken, then touch the cooked chicken and the whole thing. So she doesn't, like, yeah. surf safe certified went out the fucking window 50 years ago. <laughs> um, so she sat there and finger banged uh, the egg wash and then the flour and then everything else that she does to oh make fried God. chicken. And she made the fried chicken, and everyone's sitting there eating it. And guess who got the lucky fingernail on the chicken? Damn it. My mom. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes, oh, yeah. my God. So tonight, oh, when we're having a lasagna, you should say, no fingernails in this mall? Yeah, <laughs> thank God this isn't fried chicken. Or yeah. fried nails and chicken. Yeah, my mom was sitting there. She took a bite of her, uh, like, chicken leg, and she, oh, like, pulled it out, and it was mama's fingernail oh, God, that damn. broke off in the... <laughs> Did Momo not like realize a nail fell well, off? Well, her nails were breaking, so and she knew she had to oh, go shit. get a manicure. God so she just wasn't thinking, and if it came off, 
Oh my god. In the vein. <laughs> she <laughs> Jesus Christ. I and oh. for that reason I will never eat fried chicken. I will never eat anything at that Momo makes yeah. unless I can visually see each layer of what it is yeah. and I can like fork it across diagonal and up and down. Yeah. As soon as we walk in tonight, I'm going to greet my mom like I'm praying. Yeah, like, let, let me see your, see. Yeah, okay. see your hands. Yeah. <laughs> When's the last time you get your nails done, girl? <laughs> Just want to make sure all 10 of them are on there because if <laughs> I only see eight or nine, nah. <laughs> where did it go? I've been unpacking. Yeah, yeah I need answers. Those fingernails in yeah, my fried exactly. chicken. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, because you know when she's laying those noodles down, like layering it, it's mm-hmm. just, oh, my God. Yeah, and then when she's sitting there like, like, putting her fingers in the bowl that's cracking yeah. up against the bowl. So that's just a lot of tension and yeah. pressure. And she washes the salad mm-hmm. like this. Oh, my God. Yep. Fuck. I wish you wouldn't have told me that. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a perfect preface into what we were talking about. So oh, my I just, God. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be great. Yeah, it's a worry I have. It's in the back of my yeah. mind every time I eat whatever I'm almost cooking. Mm. Well, quick... Uh, off topic shout out to Will um, mm-hmm. for calling me an ugly mug or get that <laughs> ugly face off the the screen. Lance just went live with our video and he's playing it in the SML store. Thanks, Will, but yeah. no thanks. You know, <laughs> yeah. calling me out like that. <laughs> yeah, we made bushwhackers on the last one. I'm thinking about doing that again. Yeah. That was too good. I think we should go make them for dessert tonight. Oh shit! Okay, because I, I know, still got a whole bottle. Of I know mix. Kim. We'll drink some and your mom. And if mm. they get drunk, then uh, mama would definitely have one. I need the stories on yeah. tomorrow's podcast or yeah, whenever we're doing exactly. <laughs> oh, we're going to film tomorrow because I ain't got shit to do. Yeah. God. And if anyone needs their bush whacked, it's Kim because yeah. she has a Speedo full of brittle. Oh, <laughs> God. That's one tough muff. <laughs> yeah. She's got one labia named Muff and the other one Beef. Beef and Muff. It. Her nickname around town's Beef Curtains. <laughs> Or roast beef sandwich. Yeah. It looks like our curtains right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah wrinkly, too. Just sad and wrinkly <laughs> and hanging there. Good for nothing, just uh, blowing in the wind. Just right there, flapping. Yep, there's flapping. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like if you put a playing card in your bicycle wheel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here comes beef curtains. <laughs> Hide your steak knives. Oh, Jesus She'll Christ. Steal them. So what do you think of the 4th of July beverage? I like it. Yeah, it's all the sparkler. It needs more alcohol. Works. It's super sweet. Yeah, it so, is very sweet. Yeah, it, it almost tastes like if you were to um, take a blue raspberry popsicle and melt it down. And you know what you could yeah. do? One fifty one. Oh, that would that would be that would be cool, cool to call it like the cherry bomb or something like that. Yeah. That'd be sweet. Did, oh yeah, yeah. So there was uh, another Fourth of July drink, and it was. Mostly blue, but then they took one of those like rocket pops mm-hmm. and then they stuck it in there. I was like, huh? Oh. Yeah, I have some of those rocket pops. Oh, sweet. they are one of my faves. Yeah, that and the Flintstone uh, push pops. Oh my god, if they still made those, they do. You fucking right, they do. Let me guess, Walmart. Yeah, <laughs> fuck. I those are the best fucking. I will give yeah. my soul for those. It's some genius sat there taking a shit and was like, if I stuff this toilet paper roll full of ice cream. <laughs> You know, I need everyone's used toilet paper rolls. Yeah. And then put a popsicle stick in the bottom of it. Mm-hmm. Fucking genius. He's a damn bazillionaire. Yeah. Yeah. He so said on a boat. Somewhere. That's all he did. Yeah. Put a popsicle stick in a toilet paper tube. That's and incredible. Just push it. <sighs> I need some of those like immediately. Those are the yeah. best things ever. So immediately stop watching the podcast and go to Walmart yeah. and get those. Because I have to Google search where, mm-hmm. you know, it'll be at, but they're really good. Yeah. I wonder, you could almost make this into like some sort of margarita. I'm, I'm trying to like if we replace the rum mm-hmm. with tequila. Yeah, because rum is sweet anyway. Yeah, it it would almost be better with vodka. I think. Yeah, it, that's what they should have done. Or, or maybe that's what the club soda version was like, because the sprite makes it a little bit sweeter. So they're like, hey, put club soda in it. Yeah, but I mean, you used the sugar free one. Yeah. So oh well, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Still good. So, uh, oh, uh, so yesterday you told me about your floor mats in the back being God two different colors. It. Like one's like yeah, Cocoa Bean and the other one's Fucking black. GMC, GM Motors, whatever you want to call them. Mm-hmm. I've had this truck now for eight months. Mm-hmm. And the interior is all black. Mm-hmm. It came with GM floor mats. I tinted the windows. It stays dark in there. I've cleaned this truck 
a hundred times. Mm-hmm. I've never noticed until yesterday I opened up my door and the light hit it just right from the passenger side, and I'll send you the picture so you can air it out to everybody and, <laughs> and see this. But on the passenger side, back seat, they put GM's uh, Caribou, which mm-hmm. is a really dark espresso color, floor mat, and it interlocks with the other one. So it's not like it just like goes in there. Like mm-hmm. These have to click together. Yeah. So I have Caribou Espresso with black, and then where it locks together, it's like black little dots where it's like interlock. It's a whole thing. But I'm like, holy shit. Mm-hmm. That, but what do I do now? I've had it for eight months. So I take it back and I'm like, because that is so, fu- the, the picture makes it look so fucking bad. Yeah. When I saw, I was like, how do they screw up? That yeah. Bad? The picture, like in real life, I can go show you right now. It, it's like, okay. Mm-hmm. But when you're in the truck and everything's closed, it's like, it's just dark. Mm-hmm. But that picture, it makes it look so fucking bad, and the and the light is coming in perfectly. And that's when I was like, "It's looking I was like, God damn, that thing is two different colors." Yeah, and sure as shit, I have two different color floor mats, <laughs> and I almost seem like I just want to leave it. Like at the GM <laughs> default, you know what I mean? Like that. I don't know. Did you go by there and tell them? No. Okay. Yeah. Yesterday you told me that that's what you were gonna do. I so wanted I, to, but I never made it. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna ask you what they said because the only thing because. Yeah. If you have it for that long, and then you go in there and say, "Hey, you guys fucked up my floor mats," it almost looked yeah. like you did it on purpose. Like you had yeah. like an I spilled older something. One. Yeah, but then it's like, how did I perfectly spill it all the way to the edge? Mm. Like I cleaned it with something. Like no. Yeah. But then like you screwed up one, and then maybe your friend had a truck, and y'all swapped it. He traded it in because yeah. you fucked that one up, and now you're trying to. I was going through all the scenarios. <clears> in my head. Yeah, I'm not that fucking <laughs> in need, desperate of it. I mean, I could care less about that truck anyway. It's just a truck. Yeah. Um. But yeah, just the fucking the just shitty. Q, you know, like yeah. your quality control is just that shitty. Like, oh, it looks. They had one looks job. Enough. Yeah. Just to. Color match. They missed yeah. that part of kindergarten. Yeah. <laughs> is that brown or espresso or black? I don't fucking know. He'll it's figure all it out. Black. Yeah, put it in there, Jim. It's going to get delivered. He'll bring it back. We'll we'll make it up later. Yeah. Just get it out of the door. That's all I did. Absolutely ridiculous. Fuckers. I'm almost thinking like it happened in detail, though. Because mm-hmm. they take it all out, and they're like, oh, they're just swapping it around. Those guys just throw it back in. Yeah. Fuckers. Oh, man. But. So, in uh, other news... In my life, uh, it's July now, so I'm not filming for an entire month. Logan said, well, if I get bored, then I'll call you guys over here. I'm like, okay, well, what if it's yeah. the time that I'm out of town or something? Or what if I have something to do? Yeah, like that. So I seen a video the other day <clears throat> mm-hmm. on TikTok, and you mentioned uh, in the kitchen when about Crystal's like little burn on her thing. It's like, oh, she's like an armless chef or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And it's, it made me laugh. I was like, all right, here's a topic. And mm-hmm. it, the video is on TikTok or whatever. But it's a no-arm MMA fighters. And they're mm-hmm. just throwing fucking kicks, right? Funny. The well, That's not even the funniest part. <laughs> the funniest part is when they went to announce the winner. Mm-hmm. And the guy, like, reaches over and is like, you know. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> like grabs them like they're holding like they just got like, grab them by the ankle like, and hold them. Where up. the fuck do I grab them at? They're like, here's the winner, you know, hold the hand. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, oh my man. god, it was so damn funny. But yeah, they were just, I mean, just right off at the shoulders, just boom, 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 kicking, you know. And the guy, <laughs> like, they were done. He went to announce the winner, and he's just like kind of like reached, like, what the fuck? And so what did what did he end up doing? He just the uh, the winner is yeah. He's just like <laughs> here, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Raise God. my own hand up. <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah. I thought that was pretty funny. <clears throat> oh, man. I, see, I I th- had such a busy week that I didn't even... No, nothing happened. Prepare I didn't go anywhere. Yourself. I didn't do anything. The video that we filmed yesterday or last night <clears throat> was literally... We only have 44 minutes of behind-the-scenes footage, and it was because there was only four scenes to the video. It was the, it was the shortest video we've ever filmed in the history of life. Yeah. Ribbit. And so, <laughs> and so, <clears throat> there was literally one scene that was nine minutes and forty-four seconds of Logan just ranting about all the Pixar movies. Then after that, he said, "I'm going to make my own Pixar movie." That was scene number two. Yeah. Scene number three talks about it. Scene number four comes back and says, "Well, Pixar said no." Boom. SML question. We were done filming in forty-four minutes. Nice. It was great. Um, 
I do have a topic I meant to ask a long time ago. I think it was about the the horse racing thing, so Mm -hmm. that timeline. But anyway, I didn't know. You remember uh, Danny Woodhead, right? Played for the uh, Patriots. Mm -mm. Really? Little bitty guy. Little bitty, like, white guy running back. Uh, Oh, Woodhead. Woodhead. He went went on to play for uh, San Diego. The only Danny I know is Danny Amendola. Yeah, see, he was with, um, what the fuck is the other little receiver's name? Had the big beard. Uh, made the crazy catch against the Falcons. Oh, yes. It's not uh, Edelman. Yes. So he was with all of them. Oh, okay. Right? So, but he's a little bitty fast running back. Yeah. He, and this was on the headlines, he is one step away because he retired uh, NFL uh, from making the PGA Open. What? Yeah. Apparently, he's a fucking phenomenal golfer. But he's a little bitty guy. Yeah, I seen the headlines. like, holy shit. So I started reading on it. And yeah, I guess he retired NFL and went and fucking started golfing. That's insane. Yeah. Uh, okay, I need to retire making puppet videos. Yeah. I'm going to go golfing. And Bill Belichick suck, was on there like, oh, well, you know, that's great. You know, da, 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 talking about it. You know, like, how do you feel about one of your ex-running backs going for the PGA? And he's like, oh, that's pretty cool. You don't see that every day. Yeah. I mean, fuck, if Michael Strahan can go be a, a talk, you know, yeah. show host. Yeah. <laughs> Good Morning America with his big-ass tooth gap. <laughs> Who would yeah. ever thought about that? But I was about to say he's about to get kicked off of Good Morning America because he's about to get another job offer from the NFL for being the uh, the uprights with his teeth. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna shape the uprights like his teeth. It's yeah. copyrighted. He's gonna make millions. It's gonna be huge. Michael Three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus my god, Christ. that's funny. But speaking of golfing, I I don't know if I sent it to you or if you sent it to me or whatever, but um. Or maybe we even talked about it. But at the beginning of June, when I was in Las Vegas, that's when uh, Tom Brady and Aaron oh, yeah. Rodgers were versing Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen in right. some sort of like little pickup golf thing. I think yeah. it was only like 12 holes or something like that. Mm-hmm. And Josh Allen like sh- sliced the shit yeah, out of he it. He fucking domed that guy. Yeah, he hit this dude and it made him stupid. <laughs> It made this dude literally fucking stupid. He's like, I got it. And I was like, what? You didn't get shit except for a concussion. Yeah, I almost, like, when I watched the videos, it's almost like, yeah. did you act it out? Because I know if mm-hmm. some celebrity or athlete or whatever mm-hmm. as much touches me the wrong way, yeah. I'm flopping. Yeah. Like LeBron. Everything hurts. And I'm fucking, <laughs> my neck, back, and butt crack, I'm suing all of y'all. You I know, can't move. If you watched it, you're getting sued. If you've seen it, if you're a witness, you didn't stop it. Everybody in here is now under a lawsuit. So yep. if he domes me, mm-hmm. dude. I, I don't even know my name. Yeah. I don't know what year it is, who the president is. I don't know anything. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm, as soon as it hits me in the head, I'm starting to stutter side to side <laughs> like this. And then finally just, uh, then boom, I'm yeah. eating shit. I I'm asking questions. Drive. I yeah. forgot how to pay my taxes. I forgot how to make yeah. a mortgage payment. I forgot everything. <laughs> yeah. I don't know shit. Yeah, I'm exactly. starting shitting and pissing on myself too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm just. And the only thing that guy got out of it was Josh Allen's yeah, golf club. I remember glove. you told him. Yeah. Like, okay, that's 15 bucks. Okay, fuck it. What's it? What's $15 yeah. to Josh it's Allen? It's not like it's signed by a Super Bowl quarterback. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's actually hilarious because he's the only one there that doesn't have a Super Bowl. Exactly. Ring. That's so funny. funny. <laughs> Could it at least be Tom Brady or Aaron yeah, Rodgers or they, they should somebody make it, good? Yeah, they should make it at least someone who has a Super Bowl. Yeah. And now, to be fair, Josh Allen does deserve one. Like, he yeah. is fucking killing it. Like The overtime he's, rule. He's I coming get. in. Yeah. He's, he's getting one in the next three to five years. Yeah. Like, I, hold me to it. I wonder if Logan's going to do the fantasy football league again this oh, year. Oh, I hope. If not, then fuck it. You if he do does, it. Jesus Christ, you're going to fucking be the commissioner of it. Because <laughs> I don't want that pressure again. <laughs> I mean, well, it's already pretty much set up. All we have to do is just log back in. It's, yeah. already, it's the same rules. And then um, we don't. We make sure James doesn't fuck us again. Yeah, fuck you, James. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I think we could, at this point, I, I could go in and delete that team, I think. Yeah. Or just maybe, put it like non-active. Or maybe something. we should do that. So yeah. for those of you who don't know, last football season, we had a uh, fantasy football thing. And Logan put on there that first place gets 10 grand, second place gets five grand, and first place gets, what was it, 1,000 or something? 1,000, like yeah. And James had an account, but didn't know his login. And then when he logged in, it added both of his fucking accounts there. And then that 
coincidentally, yeah. that one team that he couldn't log back into was up first on the draft yeah. and took my fucking first pick. Well, it actually helped me because I ended up getting Patrick Mahomes. And not but. only that, it put together a fucking all-star team mm-hmm. because it drafted the Colts uh, running back who was throwing down like 40 points a fucking game. Jesus. Dude, it was insane. It was like, thank God. because And mm-hmm. I went through and I defaulted it. Because it threw us at an odd number, so fucking Wahoo goddamn sports yeah. throws in their bullshit team. <laughs> Wahoo. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm calling it, because that's what it was. And yeah. uh, so we put those two teams, you know, I had to go in and, and manually do the whole fucking season mm-hmm. on everyone playing, and these two teams played each other the whole, you know, season. And that was a fucking ass. But <laughs> mm-hmm. if I could delete them out of there and then have the rest of it, then it's golden. I'll do it again. I'll, yeah, I'll yeah, yeah, that'd be sick. I wonder if Logan is going to do that. I, I don't know. If, Maybe we should ask him tonight if he shows up. Yeah. Because it, Mom all said that he was supposed to come tonight. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah. <clears throat> we'll see. If not, we'll see someone who's about to pop any day now. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Chili, Chili's about to push out a life into this world. Yeah. We'll drink to that. Yeah. So, Logan. <laughs> so, Logan told me the other day, he said that when he and Chili are going into the <laughs> the baby delivery room or whatever, yeah. that they each get a plus one. So, Chili's got her sister, and then Logan picked my mom to be there. Yeah, so weird. And Logan said, <laughs> he said, hey, Lance, if for some reason, if I call you, if it's like in the middle of the night, and I call you and say, hey, the baby's coming, you like, I'm on the way to the hospital now. Yeah. Do you think you'd show up? And be my plus one, except for uh, instead of mom. I said, fuck yeah, I'll do it. He says, will you film it? I said, fuck yeah, I'll film it. Because I got that new vlog camera. I said, I got the microphone and everything. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom in. I'm going to get all the splooge and oh all my the juices. God. It is not. <laughs> dude. It would be the funniest shit. Because <sighs> every time I see Chile, I'd be like, guess what? I've seen. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen your fucking Twinkies get yeah. this fucking big around. <laughs> Damn, because there's also a thing where their vag can split to their asshole. And yeah, it's a it's it just tears. one big hole. Yeah. Or you can Ew. have it pre-split. Or I mean, if it's good enough, you can just you don't need good it. enough. But, yeah. But. yeah, you don't need it. It just comes. I don't on ever out. want it to be good enough. Like yeah. I'd rather it be mediocre at best. But dude, they it's a whole thing, man. You don't. I I I'd be like hell no. Yeah, because you don't know. Like it's all numb, you know. Yeah, and. If she's thinking she's pushing a kid out and she lays a fucking big ass turd, that would be the greatest thing. Oh my god! I I'm telling everyone. Yeah, I, I hope it happens this way. I hope we'll it's put at it on the four podcast. O'clock. Yeah, I hope it's at four o'clock <laughs> in the morning. My mom's asleep. Everyone's asleep. My phone stays on loud. Logan calls me. Lance, uh, get to the hospital. I will be like, yep, right away, buddy. And I'm coming in hot with my with my oh camera. Oh my god! Yeah, I would be like, no, fuck that. I I don't want any part of it. it it's. Ugh. I saw it as a funny story to tell Lily and everyone I meet. Yeah. And I told Logan last night, I said, well, as I was leaving, I said, call me if, uh, if you need me. And I said, and I'll start with that. Every person I meet from now on, I'll be like, hi, my name's Lance. And uh, I watched my niece be born and I video, I videotaped it. Jesus you, wait, Christ. your niece? Yeah. I was the cameraman <laughs> yeah. Yeah. on this reality TV yeah, show. We're a, we're a close family around here. <laughs> Called 30 acre and pregnant. Exactly. That's. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh Jesus! Jesus, yeah, that's so my funny. that's my daughter niece. Yeah, we're pretty. <laughs> we're like this. You'd be like, why did you zoom in so far with that 4K camera? But yeah, you wanted the the birthing process. I got you every detail <laughs> oh, that you wanted. God. So, fun fact, uh, and this is where this is going to get hilarious. Um, so, fun fact: many many yeah. moons ago, so Chili's sister has two kids, and I don't know which one's the oldest one. I think it's the the girl. <clears throat> Well, for some fucking reason, Logan's memory card that he was using to film uh, yeah. SML videos on uh-huh. had her birth video on oh, it. Oh, God damn. And, oh, God. If uh, Did y'all watch it? Yes. Oh, holy fuck. Do they know? I don't know if they, they do know. now. Yeah, they're about to know. If they fuck. haven't seen it, then they, they're going to know. Oh, my but, God. Uh, so, Logan needed me to import his scenes because oh he was out of town and he left his camera there. And so, he said, Lance, can you plug this into my computer? I'll tell you how to import all the scenes, oh do whatever. This is back at the apartment. And so, I do, I do all that and I see something that looks like a hairy head. Oh, my God. And I said, what the <laughs> fuck is that? So, naturally, being the male that I am, I <laughs> click on it. I'm like... Oh, fuck God. i said logan why do you have a birthing video on your phone <laughs> and uh <clears throat> he said oh shit that's chili's sister giving birth so i was like 
well, fuck, I'm not going to yeah. exit out now. Now I'm invested. <laughs> I need to see this birthing process. Because at the time I was in nursing schools, so I was like, oh, this is research. Mm-mm. So I watched Chili Sister give birth. Jesus Christ. Well, y'all are that much closer now. Yeah. My landscaper's calling. I'm not answering it. You should put him on the podcast. That would be the funniest shit ever. Yeah, it would. <laughs> Let's hear what he has to say. Uh, yeah, Old Zach. <laughs> oh, he's going back. Yeah. No, it's all right. I, I don't even know what he's going to say. Be like, so what? Uh, it's funny. All right, let's see. Yeah, this is good. All right. <laughs> he doesn't even know. Yeah. God damn it. Are you done picking up white rocks in my flower beds? <clears throat> yeah, I'm going <laughs> to... You guys are about to see me have to be a little bit professional. It's going to be good. Well, let's see what he says. Hey, Miss Lamp. Hey, Zach, what's up? Hey, you want to come give these things the first trial run? Uh, I am a little bit tied up at the moment. I can't go out there and nope, test drive. Fine. Nope. Yeah, I can oh, you're have. Good, you're good. I was just letting you know. Okay, I'll have Audrey come out there and test drive. You're cool. Thanks, man. All right, cool. <clears throat> he wants me to go out there and test drive walking on the grass in between yeah. the pavers also. I was, I was like, give these things a test. What is he <clears throat> doing? Yeah. <laughs> he wants me to bring my golf club out there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm calling Aud real quick. Go walk. Oh, yeah. Oh, sh- oh fuck. I should have told Zach to tell us a joke. Yeah. Damn it. Hello. Hey, tell me a joke. Oh, okay. Um, hold on. <laughs> your golf oh, course is done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> your golf course is finished. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, did you hear about the Italian chef who died? No. He passed away. <laughs> I'm going to hang myself with a belt. <laughs> <laughs> so Zach just called. Um, I missed a opportunity to be hilarious. I should have told him to <laughs> tell me a joke, but I didn't. I didn't even think about it. But I called him back on the podcast, and he needs you to go outside and test drive walking on the pavers with the the turf in betwixt them. So if you could do that, then and then tell him because I told him you would do it. So I volunteered. Oh. I volunteered you to do that. So now you're being okay. volunteered. To go outside. And do All right, work. I will go out there and ask him <clears throat> what he wants me to do. It, he's gonna say just test drive, and then you can either just not call me back, or you can call me back, but then just be prepared for another joke. Dro- joke. A joke. Yep. That means a drink and a joke. <laughs> yeah, bring me a drink yeah. and a joke. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> bring me a joke. God damn it! Yeah. All right, go test drive and tell me how it goes. Okay. Love a lot. Bye. Great. I almost accidentally called someone. That would have been funny. <laughs> yeah. <Tell me> a <laughs> joke. How funny would it be if we just start prank calling people? That'd be funny as fuck. Like you just yeah, tell it me. Like this is the answer. Tell me a joke. We so we need to old school it and start yeah. going through the phone book. Oh, just God prank damn, calling yeah. people and star six seven the number so it's unknown mm-hmm. and just you know act like we're telemarketers. Oh, like your old job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I'm getting reg- excited. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be funny. Thank you for calling. <laughs> Could you tell me a joke? Dude, we go straight fucking character and just yeah. be like, like Jeffy answered the phone. Oh my what god, doing? that would be some wink doing. <laughs> we got dude. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so funny. Where the fuck is your house payment? God, that, that we should do a segment like that where we we just call random yeah. businesses until someone tells us a joke, and then if they tell us a joke, then we give them something like a hundred. You know bucks what I want to do, and I don't know if we got. The room on there, but we put our phones. I seen it on TikTok where each of us calls a Chinese restaurant. Oh, that would be funny! Like, hey, how do you want to? What do you want? And they're like, No, what do you want? And they're just going back and forth, you know? Like, yeah. oh, this is, you know, that's so funny. Yeah, yeah. No, there's only one. Um, oh, so I'd have to hook up one to Bluetooth and then one to a. Hold on, let me see. Oh fuck! Yeah. It's it's an Android hookup. Yeah, who has those? Poor fucking. Dinosaurs. If you're if you're a green bubble. Upgrade your phone to an iPhone. Yeah. And then buy stock in Apple. Join the rest of us. Yeah. But that would be funny if we just start prank calling people. Oh, that would be so good. I, I wonder, like, how many times we'd have to call someone before they told us a joke. Yeah. Like, hey. It, it, and they won't know that Holy they're Holy fuck, podcast. yeah. We just got, as soon as they answer the phone, be like, hello, be like, tell us a joke. Tell us a joke. I need a joke right now. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah. Like, tell us a joke. Yeah. And then, I, mean, I don't have time for this. It could okay, save well. someone's life. If yeah. they're like down on their luck and you're like, thank God you called me. My phone rang. So, and then I'm telling a joke. Now I'm talking to you guys. This is great. Yeah. Or we could start it like a radio station. Hello. Welcome to Beyond <laughs> yeah. Buzz. Today we have, who's the caller that yeah, we have on the phone exactly. today? That would be so Who funny. do we got on the line? <laughs> Good day here. That would be so funny. That would be the funniest shit yeah. ever. Oh, do you man. have 
a phone number in your phone that we could star 67 and they would answer. Yeah. Like almost guaranteed, but, but it's not going to be a dickhead about it because I'd be inclined to be upset. Hey, you're back on. That's, that's my mother. What she want? Uh, why aren't you down here? She said, Hey, Hey, I hope she calls. Oh, no. Call her. Tell, tell, make her tell us a joke. She wants me to bring the stuff to, uh, yeah. All right. Hold on. Yeah, I'm going to do it. All right. Yeah. This is my mother, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. I'm not even going to tell her she's on the podcast. Yeah. Well, she's. <clears throat> Hello? Hey, what doing? Sitting here. What are you doing? Tell us a joke. Huh? Tell us a joke. Tell you a joke? Both, yeah. Both of us. Yeah. Me and Matthew. You're on the podcast, by the way. Oh, hello. What's the joke? Um, <laughs> there was the accent. Okay. I don't understand them. Okay. Um, there was an owl. I heard an owl. That okay. doesn't work because you're not here. Um, Just like I don't my father. Have a joke. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Kim, tell me a joke. No, I didn't ask for Kim to tell I'm me a joke. I want you to tell me a Kim, joke. Kim is the joke. <laughs> <laughs> we need a joke. Um, is, wait, is Kim there? Yeah. Tell him that a, a white horse fell in the mud. That's a a white horse fell in the mud. That's a dirty joke. That's a dirty joke. Jesus, That's a dirty horse. A dirty... Yeah. Jesus Christ. You know, if a donkey fell in the mud, that'd be a dirty ass. <laughs> yeah, she needs to wipe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't have no jokes. I Ask her if her I, a noose is nice and tight, and she's not shitting on anyone's chest. Lately. Mm. Hey Kim, <laughs> Kim is your put on speaker. A-noose put on speaker so she can so we can hear what she says. Okay, uh, you you they're gonna want me to speaker you. Here, come listen. Yeah, they want to know about your a noose. Yeah. It's very tight, baby. It's so tight. It would take you maybe an hour to get in. Damn. <laughs> Are you sure it's not just because you're old and we need right. WD-40 from all the rusted hinges? I'm the healthiest 60-year-old woman you've ever seen. Damn, you're 60 already? Over. Yeah. I thought well, we I were making a joke when we block. said you were 60. I can take y'all around a block or two, so y'all better be quiet. Wow. Where are your nephews? I'd be yeah. careful what you're saying because this isn't getting cut out. <laughs> Jesus. That's how we roll around here. I mean, we are in the South. Fuck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> God damn it. And she lives in Louisiana where anything goes. <laughs> Any holes a goal. Yep. That's her state capital motto. And it's like an hour to get to that hole. So. Damn. All the yeah. construction down there. And Jesus. Yeah, it takes you that long to get through the Depends diapers. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kim, question. Does Jerry have to pull your what? diaper off with his teeth? They wonder if Jerry pulls your diaper off with his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> she don't wear no diaper. Well, fuck, she should after she's shitting on Jerry's chest. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, she's making... She's making scrimp Alfredo. Scrimp Alfredo mm. with Mama's lasagna. Yeah. Really? Jesus, that's carbs on carbs. Yeah. And we having cow and seafood. Poor Jesus. Jerry's chest. <laughs> <laughs> I would say R.I.P. toilet, but she doesn't shit there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's. The funniest shit ever. Okay, so you want me to bring the stuff to make the Princess Lily beverage? Yes. Uh, we're I also still need to drink. <clears throat> hey. Okay, we're also going to bring uh, shit to make like bushwhackers because I know Kim needs to shave. Oh, yes, yes. Kim needs her bushwhack. Yes. Yeah, very much. I figured she had a, a speedo full of brittle. That would be nice, actually. Mm, and Kim said it, that would be nice. What, what's Jerry drinking? Um, Jerry's drinking Crown. I knew it. Already? I knew it. I, nice. <laughs> yeah. I, yes. Do it. <laughs> yes, he is. Crown and Coke. Holy mm. shit. It's going to get good really yeah. fast. All right. Sweet. All right. Well, then we'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> you guys see that Yeah, they pool. said that y'all need, Tim says y'all need to have him come on and say RC Cola. <laughs> RC Cola. <laughs> Fucking bitch. Hey, hey, Jerry, come here. Come say RC Cola. Oh, uh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> How about a nice taste of Aracicola? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
my god, that's so good. That's so. Uh, that, that's him. That's Jerry, ladies and gentlemen. A round of applause for for Jerry. He's got to be on the podcast. Like if he if he can come down here tomorrow or something, that'd be sweet. All right. All right. All right. See y'all later. Love y'all. Love, Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> god damn RC Cola. RC Cola. Fucking bitchin'. Bitchin'. Crown and RC Cola. <sighs> <laughs> well, those were meant for each other. Oh, really? Yeah. Crown Royal. RC Cola oh, is Royal Crown. Oh, fuck. Yeah. That's a quality. I never knew that. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Yeah. Welcome to 2022. <laughs> there it is. <sighs> God damn, RC Cola. Yeah, it's my uh, my McDonald's Diet Coke and Crown. <laughs> Jerry and I are uh, on the same page. <laughs> oh my god, where are we at on this one? Uh, we're at about thirty five minutes. Thirty five minutes. <clears throat> uh, we can actually make this one a short one if if we wanted to. This is a pretty quality one though. Yeah, uh, we're. <laughs> <laughs> Who else? Oh, pass. Look at this. We got the punch bowls coming oh, what is in. That? A fresh one of okay, yeah, yeah. Just we just had Jerry on on the podcast, yeah. by the way. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Um, the yard looks good. It's good. It's is fine. It, is it walkable? Yes. Did he fulfill all of the pavers? Not yet. He's did he fulfill? He has all, to cut them out individually. Did he fill all of your cracks? He, he needs to. Yeah. It's gonna take some time. Mm. Well, that's all he's had for the past nine months. So, yeah, a baby was constructed inside of a We're womb. Just gonna, in the oh yeah, yeah people have given births in less time than my yard right i didn't even get to pop the cherry it's all in at the freaking bottom mm -hmm. i'm just gonna drink it out of this this looks so much darker than yours i think yeah. this is gonna oh. be like she put she put extra blue curacao i bet think so mm -hmm. tastes quality to me does it taste sweeter or about the same yeah, about the same maybe okay. it's just a glass oh that's very spritey in my opinion Oh, oh, quality idea. Look at that. We're living in 2020. Aha! See? Ah, oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> Here we go. I gotta catch up. <laughs> oh, it's very out of it. Mm hmm. Really? Mm hmm. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> popping cherries and taking names. But we're not taking names because we're too busy popping cherries. Word. I'm so excited <clears throat> to use that floating chipping map. Oh, I know. Yeah, it's gonna be so fun. Yeah. It's gonna be. Yeah, quality. So whenever we're tired of being inside, go outside and then chip golf balls. And my mom's backyard is huge. It's like three times bigger than mine. Well, I know Aunt Kim's probably going to be inside, so I'm definitely going straight outside and hitting golf balls. Mm -hmm. Who's going to get them? Haley. Haley? She's yeah. swimming? Yeah. yeah. More than likely she's swimming. If not, then I'll make her go swim. Yeah. Boo -boo -boo. I was chipping pool. golf balls the other day in the backyard, and my dog fucking fell in love. Thought it was a game. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> fucking <laughs> bolting. It was like, <clears throat> God damn it. Yeah, I got those wiffle uh, golf balls, and mm -hmm. I was actually hitting them off my rug in my living room, yeah. and Bo and Feet were just running. The, oh, they yeah. were going batshit crazy. I'm like, I get to play with my cats and golf at the same time, <laughs> and it's air conditioned. <laughs> I was like, sweet. Oh, this is what God. I'm going to do during the summers, and then in the winters and the falls, I'm going to go outside and actually golf. Yeah, because it was way too fucking hot to be golfing now. Yeah, I, I did promise Will, because Will actually has uh, Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, he actually has to work. He needs to go with us. Yeah. <clears throat> and on Mondays and Tuesdays are his only off days. But then you're working then. I'm like, yeah. fuck. So this Tuesday, if you're not doing anything, I'm taking a little golfing <laughs> in the morning. So I know you probably have to work, and yeah. I know it was a long shot, but I, I still extend the invite. Yeah. Fuck. Will just needs to take a day off. Yeah. that's he Sounds said, like to me he needs to take tomorrow off. Yeah. <laughs> he said that if, uh, if we give him enough notice, then he can request it off. Well, fuck it. Yeah. I feel like I should have some pull. Like, if I call yeah. Wendy or Logan and said, hey, give yeah. Will off. Exactly. I I don't think I have any pull yeah. at all. Give some PTO. Pay time off. Yeah. <clears throat> so, Matthew and I got new golf bags, and they're the coolest fucking golf bags oh, ever. They, they, I don't know if you've noticed. I'm sure you did. But there's a spot for your Sharpie on each side to, mm -hmm. like, mark your ball. And then behind where your little ball box is, mm -hmm. there's a, a spot for the strap for the golf cart. Oh, really? Did you see that? Uh-uh. It goes right it, the perfect, the most... Ama I'll have to show you. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, it's amazing. Uh, there you go. Hell yeah. That's the first one, right? Uh, no, I don't know. Oh, they shit, just keep coming out so gassy. Oh, that's bright. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, so I the top ball pouch that I use on mine, mm -hmm. 
I put all like my good go to ones. Yeah. And then the bottom ones, like, kind of like, all right, if I get real fucked up, I start shanking them. Mm-hmm. Those balls are there, but they're right in front of the cooler. And I've always wanted to try like a, like a cold golf ball mm. because I know like, like cold baseballs and shit like that, like softballs. They whenever I used to play, oh, fuck, dude. Yeah. Yes, sir, they do. Um, yeah, we when we played uh, softball, <clears throat> we would leave like some of the fucking softballs mm-hmm. in the damn bag in a cooler and fucking bring that bitch out and like it would be cold as fuck. And dude, you just smash that bitch. Oh, it's funny. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So, so when I was at Edwin Watts yesterday, I was looking at all the golf bags mm-hmm. because I was worried because I really wanted the Florida Gator one because it, yeah. it it has everything right where I want it. It's <laughs> the most, it's the best golf bag. Yeah. Like once you buy that one, that's the only one you want. I almost want to go buy a second one for when this one gets bad. I have a second backup. <laughs> we'll have to show, post a picture. Yeah, it's fucking amazing. Yeah. And it actually has a cooler in it. And a lot of, go- or every golf course that we've ever been to says yeah. no coolers, but whatever. <clears throat> so in the bottom of it, there's a little drain port. Mm-hmm. And so obviously you throw ice in there and whatever. But there's not a uh, an option to close off the port to only so it just deadly drains. Yeah. And so yeah. to me, and that's how every golf bag was yeah. when I was looking, I was like, so your golf bag just gets wet yeah. at the very bottom of it. And then that's where your handle goes and your handles made out of rubber. So yeah. if it's constantly getting wet, I don't know if that's going to deteriorate yeah. it or, or what the fucking problem is. But the Florida Gator one, mm. the drain port is almost like slanted at the front. So even if the, the bottom of it does get wet, it's not as bad as yeah. the other ones. Because the other ones had the drain port on the side. Oh, fuck. Okay. So it was, your, your clubs were getting wet yeah. no matter what. Wow. So I was like, okay, fuck those. I'm going to get the Florida Gator yeah. one. So <clears throat> It's such a badass bag, man. Yeah, so when you and I only go golfing, we just have to make sure we pay attention. Yeah. To- <laughs> Did but you we get the usually- club guards and everything? Like the... Cause I, oh, the, the the Florida Gator thing? Yeah. No, I didn't. Oh, dude, I got the fucking towel, the Sweet. club guard. Crystal hooked it the fuck up. Yeah. Like, she went above and beyond. I was like, holy shit. Yeah, they have so many cool head covers there. They have yeah. a Vegas one. They have a Florida one. They have all these ones. I'm like, all oh, these are so fucking cool. Yeah, I got the driver, the three, and the putter cover. Oh, okay. Just came Sweet. in a set. Yeah, that's yeah, fucking that's awesome. Sick. Yeah, I there's so many things. I I could go broke in Edwin Watts. Yeah. Like, I I have to stop myself. I'm like I'm going in here. I want to try out their little driving. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> so funny story. When I was in there yesterday, I was walking around looking at the different golf bags and everything, and I hear. Wham! I was like, fuck. <laughs> and it scared the shit out of me. I turned so fast, my sunglasses flew oh, halfway fuck. across the fucking store. I was like, Jesus Christ. Somebody obviously knew what they were doing in there. Yeah. Fuck. And it was so, it echoed so loud. I would want to go in there and just do like, like a, a day course or something. Like, just mm-hmm. give us some tips. Yeah. Just just the tip. I knew yeah. something if I could say it. I, knew, I need just to stop yeah. fucking hard writing it. That's yeah. all I need. Yeah. I, I just, you know, I'm not... I want to be good. I want to be good competitive, mm-hmm. you know. I, I want I want us to go out and compete in a tournament and actually like place like third or second or fourth or something like in that. In the real tournament? Well, one at like a uh, scenic or something. Like a legit or like a fun like anything ice flyer one. Any of it. As long as we get a trophy. Yeah. Cuz that trophy will not we'll see leave the right ice flyer one. <laughs> everyone got a gift. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, it was like a, a party one, right? Because okay. there was like 200 people that entered or 200, whatever, you know, uh, divided up into teams, like four people per team. Mm-hmm. And group A, you know, which is like maybe like five teams, started on hole one and they broke it up. I think I started, my team started on like hole 15. Mm-hmm. Then you play 15, 16, 17, 18, one, two, three, all the way back around mm-hmm. to where you hole 14 was my 18th. Yeah. And come on in. Um, but like McGuire's. You know, it was like the third hole. Oh, sick. they were giving out shots of you know uh, the Irish wake. Oh my god! Okay, yeah. Every <coughs> sign us up. I don't give a fuck if I have to. Yeah, do I will it was like ninety dollars a person. Um, done. I'm there. Yeah, and then you get four people to make a team, so Will could be on there, oh, or, or us and the girls. Yeah, could go. that would be it'd be great. Yeah, and it is a big like coolers are permitted. Oh, um, sick! So it's a big drunk fest, and oh yeah. God. So every hole is sponsored by some. There's always something going on. Um, I think one of the par threes, they set up like a hockey goal net and they didn't even want you to like hit it in the hole. They just wanted you to hit it up into the net oh, and you sweet. want like a thousand bucks. Oh shit. Yeah. Sweet. It's pretty cool. So, oh my God. I need, we need to do that. But so you play best ball, right? Mm-hmm. And here's the fucking thing. There's guys out there that are like legit fucking good. Mm-hmm. 
the team that won was like fucking minus 24. <laughs> See, that doesn't even make it fun. These four guys literally came to win first place. And first place was like some nice golf bags. Uh, really nice, like a fucking Yeti cooler. They showed up. They, they shouldn't be allowed. Yeah. <clears throat> they showed up. They got their first place gift and then left. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, dude. And they were just like, thanks. Thanks for inviting us. Thanks for you. You know, and gone. It's like, what the fuck, y'all? You know what yeah, I mean? Because one guy drives the shit out of it. Everyone has to drive. Mm-hmm. Everyone has to hit. You know, then after that, you play from that, the best one. Mm-hmm. And then from that, you play the best one. So if you got a motherfucker out there driving just 400 yards and doming it, yeah. a guy that can chip good mm-hmm. and a guy that can putt, you're done. You're going to yeah. fucking just make bank. Yeah, because then, like, what if you're good at driving, but I'm good at chipping, and then Odd's good at putting, and then Crystal's right. good at bunkers or whatever. So, then you just sit there and fucking... Right. And that's where these guys, like, they will set up these teams for that when you're playing, like, best ball. See, that's not even fun, if, especially yeah. if you're going out there for the sole purpose of, like, right. going to the Maguire's tent or going to whatever the fuck. Yeah. We actually need to make the Irish wake as a drink on here. Fuck yeah. We should do I'll that. I'll damn sure do it, because yeah. I have that memorized them. Oh, sweet. Then, <laughs> yeah. then do it tomorrow. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. And you'll get your 151 floater. Finally. <laughs> Here we go. 151. Sweet, yeah, finally. <laughs> coming, coming soon. Oh, to fuck. a podcast near you. I have... Oh, I, I'm a, all right. I get the whole thing. Like, we're going to, like, have a St. Paddy's Day day tomorrow. Yes. For 4th of July weekend. How <clears> fucking non-American <throat> is that? Have you had the Emory Chinoweth there? It has, like, 99 mm. bananas in it and then, mm. uh, like, fucking some dark rum. So it's, like... A shot and a half of dark rum, shot and a half of light rum, 99 bananas, orange juice, and I think think that's it. But anyway, it's super fucking good. It's so fucking good. I usually get the Irish red beer or super good fucking Irish white. Oh, Irish red beer with the cheeseburger with the beer cheese, and it's just all one. Yeah, so their soft pretzel, whenever they bring out the beer cheese, I'm like, hold the mustard. I want extra beer cheese. Yeah. And that's what I get for my hamburger, too. Because that beer cheese is made with the Irish red. Yeah. Fuck yeah, it is. Oh, fuck. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. The last time I took the boys there, just us three, dude, I walked out of there probably, I spent like 100 bucks. Mm -hmm. And I mean, didn't even have nothing to drink. But it was (laughs) like, dude, we ordered like all kinds of appetizers. We went to like, uh, was it Monster Trucks or some bullshit? Mm -hmm. And, uh, so anyway, we went there afterwards, and dude, we fucking had the whole table covered in food. Sweet. And we ate like fucking kings, yeah, man. Yeah, it's a buffet. Yeah, and the, <laughs> the waitress, this is funny as fuck, by the way, you can't even make this up. The waitress's name was the same name as her dog, Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe. And so Bryce thought that was too damn funny. He's just like, you're the same name as my dog. I'm like, you don't call a lady that. <laughs> <laughs> so he like folds his napkin up and I was super impressed. He folds like his napkin up and makes like a dog head and draws ears and like the eyes and stuff and gave it to him. I'm like, oh shit. That's probably the best and worst pickup line yeah. I've ever seen in my entire life. And she's Damn. like, oh, this is so sweet. I'm going to keep it with me. I'm like, he's calling you a dog. Yeah. <laughs> Bryce is smooth with the ladies, yeah. but being kind of nonchalant about yeah, it. Yeah. He's just like, as fuck. you're a dog. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, but yeah, she kept like, is this is y'all, you know, like, you know, there's a lot of food, right? You ever been yeah. here before? I'm like, trust me, I'm taking all this home. This We're going to eat on this tomorrow too for lunch and dinner. So that's funny. Yeah. That's a whole thing. But yeah, dude, we get the fucking, uh, the little, uh, Reuben egg rolls and mm-hmm. the pretzel done. Like, oh that's... God. Oh, the Reuben egg rolls. So the top, oh, all their appetizers are good actually. Yeah. So the top appetizers from McGuire's in my opinion, potato skins. Uh, with box. barbecue sauce. <clears throat> oh, I dip it get, in sour cream and ranch. No, fuck that. Get barbecue sauce and, and sour cream. Oh, then layer barbecue shit. sauce, a little dollop of sour cream. It'll change your fucking life. Oh, fuck me. I'm over here just sour cream and ranch because I have a problem. Uh, uh-uh. Get their barbecue <clears throat> sauce. Yeah, and then so uh, potato skins, box D's, spinach dip. Because mm. um, th- they have these very fluffy. They're, the chips are like this fucking big, and they're in the like, okay. shapes of triangle. So about like, yeah, like that. That's about <laughs> you made the perfect rectangle. Yeah, I was like, how did you fu- fucking... It, it's literally this big, but it's like a, how a did triangle. How you do that? Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking huge. But uh, yeah, their spinach dip is the titties. Their uh, Reuben egg rolls, box D's. Oh, God. It's Have you tried their... Buffalo on um, the boneless buffalo wings or whatever. Are they called like a uh, chicken cockles or something like that? It's such a weird fucking name. But yeah, yes, I don't know. I, it, there's some sort of buffalo yeah. chicken. It's like uh, buffalo chicken thighs similar to yeah, what? Yeah, exactly. What boneless, skinless chicken thighs chopped up. Oh, they're mm-hmm. they're good. 
I like yeah. those. But <clears throat> yeah, I wonder if they're going to want to go to uh, McGuire's this weekend because they always go. Yeah, that's Kim what, has to go. Yeah, because she's got to see Dave. Yeah, she's got to flirt with the which is going to be there. weird as fuck now because Jerry's here. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. I, I just got to break out the fart spray and we're in the clear. Ah, mine's at work. <laughs> I don't even have it. You know what I do have? What's that? Three little vials of uh, the stink bombs. Oh, they're what, glass. What is that? Fuck! You never smell a stink bomb? No. Oh, motherfucker! It's gonna change your life. Is it funnier than the farts? <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> oh no we, way! We, a buddy of mine, <laughs> broke one at a old company I used to work for, mm-hmm. and he went right in front of the air conditioning unit, like the return air. Oh, shit. Broke it and just put it on the ground real fast. It was like carpet right there. So you just put it in like fucking three hours later. The doors of this business was open at the fire and security place he's working at. They had the doors open, dude. They were just fucking like had fans going trying to suck out the smell. It's bad. It's It smells like rotten deviled eggs. No. Like a really egg skunky smell. <laughs> and it doesn't go away. It's so much worse than the fart spray. What's in it that makes it I have smell no so fucking bad. idea. I ordered... Uh, a box of them and three little, they're glass little vials and you just snap it and then dump it out. Or you can put it on the ground and crush it. It's really thin glass. Is it liquid or is it like yeah. powder? It's oh, liquid. Shit. It is fucking bad. Because I know on the ingredients list for the fart spray, yeah. it's all like, believe it or not, natural ingredients. Yeah. And so on it, it says, we can't tell you what the product is because yeah. then you'll be able to replicate yeah. it. And then you could just call it something else, whatever the fuck. So they say, it's just, just know it's all natural. There's no yeah. way that you could be allergic to it or anything. I'm sure like some type of sulfide in there. Yeah. It's, it's gotta be something like, Almost like the durian fruit, you know how oh, how shitty that God is. Damn, yeah, it's got to be something along the lines of that, like a plant or like a natural yeah. mineral or something that just smells like shit. Yeah, I <laughs> forgot about the durian fruit that we it tried. Is, oh my god, oh, so fun! That was such a fun day trying all that <laughs> shit. We need to do another taste testing. Oh, for Jesus sure. Christ! Yeah. Oh my god, taste tests are so good. I we actually have some drinks that we've been wanting to taste test. So yeah. If you're down for that, whenever, then we'll do it. Yeah. Because we actually bought a bottle of the Flamin' Hot Mountain Dew to test drive that. Mm. We have uh, Dragon Ball Z energy drinks that have 300 milligrams of caffeine in it. Like, good God, you were going to Naruto run to fucking lunch. Jesus Christ. Yeah, the last time I had one of those Celsius heats with Mm -hmm. 300, man, it it was almost so much it gave me like a headache. Like, I think my blood pressure was so high, it made my my eyes kind of watery. It is fucking bad. Those things must be rare as dick, because I haven't found them in gas stations or Publix. They're on base. Oh, okay. Yeah, they get them. Well, you know what? You're right, because they only get them, like, ever so often. Mm Mm-hmm. So I don't even know. Yeah, that's crazy. Because if you guys get the Celsius heat test drive, let me know. Because yeah. uh, today at Publix, we got the grape ones. So I don't know if you've tried the grape. Mm-hmm. It tastes just like uh, carbonated Kool-Aid. It's, yeah. it, I, oh, I fucking love it. If so you good. like that, you'd definitely like, which you don't like sugar, but uh, Grapeco. <laughs> Oh, okay. Fuck, dude. Those are the best grape sodas. An ice cold, like straight out of a cooler. Uh, change your like fucking on life. summer day. Yeah, oh, dude. We used to drink those as kids. God damn, yeah. they're good. It tastes like the purple <coughs> frozen popsicle. Oh, okay. It, it tastes just like it is. Fuck, they're so good. Mm-hmm. My, fra- yeah. my favorite yeah. frozen popsicle is the blue ones and the Fuck orange yeah. ones. So every now and then you can find some. They're, they look, they're kind of like a clearish yellow. Mm-hmm. And they're pina colada ones. Oh, you fucking, fucking right they are. They, it, when you freeze them, they're almost like a white look. Dude, those are the damn spot on. And 98 cent, you can get a bag this big. Guess mm-hmm. where we're at? Da, 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 da. Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen alcoholic ones. Really? Uh, yeah. And in Vegas, oh, on fuck. the golf course, fun fact, there's a, not a cart girl, but a cart dude. Like, just don't, don't even beat he me He might there. identify as a girl. Yeah. They and he, he drives around and gives them to you for free on the golf course. I'm like, He's oh. making you get on your knees and you just fucking squirts <laughs> it into your mouth. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's like that when he drove by he said hey man i know it's hot here's a popsicle i was like fuck you yeah. like, he probably said hey man i know you're hot <laughs> you want my popsicle you look really good when you and you're about balls. to pass out <laughs> you're about to pass out because it's hot it's just like put it in my mouth please yeah it's 115 degrees outside yep. and squeeze like, that in my mouth and i'm gonna <laughs> suck it down <laughs> oh fuck Oh, man. Uh, You ready to go hit some golf balls in a pool? Oh, yeah. Let's do that. All right. 
Hope you guys enjoy the podcast. We're going to leave it here with you guys. We're going to go hit golf balls at my little sister in the pool, and she's got to dive down and get them. We only have five that float. The rest of them sink. Oh, shit. <laughs> I stole range balls the last time we were at Scenic, so I have a Fuck, yeah. I have there. a whole yellow bag of them. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, real quick. Every time we go golfing or every time I go golfing or whatever, I try to find a ball that's lost, and I, I use it as like a souvenir. So I have an entire sack full oh, of just fuck. like balls I found. Even if it's a Titleist Pro V1, yeah. and it's in perfect condition i save it i see they're in my golf bag i don't really use them but they're in my golf bag because i was looking mm. it's like man these are in rough shape but they're not even mine yeah like i know i went and buy them you know yeah <clears throat> i feel like if i donate a ball to the brush or to the lake or to the water or whatever yeah. then i get to get one back and did so you put I, your ball sack on your new bag so I did, like, uh, of yeah. course yeah, yeah how do you not <laughs> it's a ball sack <laughs> it clicked on so perfectly yeah that's it's great. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, we're going to go have lasagna, so you guys be jealous. And uh, we're going to drink Fit Vine because it's bikini season. So uh, we love you guys. Make sure you're leaving comments and podcast ideas and drink ideas in yeah. the comment section below if you're watching on YouTube. If you're on Spotify, we love you a lot. Make sure you're sharing it with everyone and making sure that you're downloading it like a thousand times on all your devices. Uh, love you a lot. See you later. And oh, be hive, baby. We'll